Hello friends. When you have data containing text dates the way shown here, month name and only two characters from the year. And when you take this data inside Power BI, what happens? As per my experience, if you don't have any extra characters apart from only this month and year in this shape, the column will be translated into a data type date but with a wrong date. So the 21 will be considered as date, January will be considered as month and it will add the current year based on your calendar. But sometimes based on the complexity of this column, maybe you are having some extra spaces and etc or leading or trialing spaces, this column will be kept as it is as a text. So in both the cases, I need to convert this into a proper date. One is using M language in Power Query Editor, another using DAX function in the report view. Now let me show you how to use Power Query Editor and how to use the DAX functions to get the right date. Now let me jump into Power BI and then extract the data. New source, Excel workbook, take the file and I've already converted the data into a table and then you can see the date is coming in this fashion. 1-21-2022, that means 2022, 21st of January 2022, but it is not 1 January 2021. That is the date should be there. So anyway, I'll be converting this into a proper text again. So let me press OK. And now it, it is a date, but this date is wrong. So I need to translate this back to text. For that, I can use the mQuery itself. My current step is changed type. When I selected the table automatically after the navigation, the data types are changed uh, based on the Power Query engine. But now I need to translate back to type text. Since it is not giving me the right data type. Now I need to add a new column because I want to convert this into a date. So what I'm going to do, I'm adding one because I want 1st of January 2021 and then taking three characters from the left and then taking two characters from the right and then adding some extra spaces in between so that the date will be constructed and then I will be translating that into a date by selecting the data type. So let me add a new formula. So let me uh, click on the FX so that new formula can be started and my previous step is change type. So I need to add a new column because I want a separate date. So table dot add column and then change type is my previous step and then I need to give the new column name you date and then column generator. So this need to happen in each cell in that column. So each then I need to combine the text. So text dot combine and then I need to create list of items there. First I need to begin with one and a space comma then I want three characters from the left side so there is a function text dot start and within that I need to give the column name that is month and month year so I need to be careful with the name of the column so it is case sensitive comma three characters and then after the bracket comma I want uh, two zero so and then comma text dot end text dot end will work like uh, write function in Excel text dot start will work like left function in Excel within that again I need to give the month year that is a column name comma two and that is 
good to go and i need to close one more bracket and press enter now you see the data is coming in this fashion i think i need to add space here not after now you have the proper date and if i click on this abc123 then you can see the data type is date and now you have a proper date 1st of january 2nd of january 21 and all the dates are coming in a proper order so this is one way of creating date from text date to a normal date let me close and apply so that i'll have the text date as well so that i can use the dax function to create it same way the way you do in excel you can create so i have a month and year column then i read new column column name is date one because i can't have same name again then same thing i'll write one ampersand and then i need to use a left function month year the three characters ampersand two zero ampersand again right month year comma two and now this is giving you the date in this fashion i think i need to add some space so let me do one thing just give me a space after one and then after 20 before 20 also i need a space so now i need to change this to a proper date type and now it is the date january 1st 2021 and so on this way you can use mquery or dax effectively if you want to know more about power query or m language or dax or even excel vba powerpoint and sometimes i post videos on python and r integrating with power bi you can actually visit payrepartu.com and subscribe yourself so that you will be getting notifications as and when i post a uh, any article or something you can actually follow me in linkedin this is my profile and you can actually subscribe or follow payrepartu.com and also you can subscribe to vijay payrepa that is my youtube channel